Once the hall's swept, it's over to the tavern crowd. They're not going to make me actually read this, are they? Reports, letters, and other important missives addressed to Clive are delivered to the reading table in his chambers. New messages are, are always arriving, so make a point to check the reading desk upon returning to the hideaway. The Republican army marches on the Empire at Twinside, and the men of the Rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing, I reckon. I'll see uh, you're done to wear upon my return. What does that mean? What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kupka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance, the one we've been waiting for. But then look how poison, far we've yeah. come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. He did. He was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. To a world without Mother Crystals. To sit. You know, playing this game as Joshua could have been pretty cool too. I'm not, it wouldn't have, I don't think it would have been as interesting as Sid, but I think it could have been interesting. Oh, oh are we, are, oh. we needed to play him earlier. Playing him now is, is cool and all, but. Before the five-year time skip. And so the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this... This is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more.
the world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? Not gonna lie. A moment, if you... Uh, my apologies, I didn't mean to... intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. What would make Martha leave the rest? Let's just call it now. At some point in the future, this airship is going to take flight. Just keep that out of the out of the, the way right now. That way there's no confusion. Here for another of my lectures. How may I help you today? By speaking with Vivian in the Hideaway's map room, Clive can view the state of the realm and learn more about the current goings-on in Valisthea, revisit any of the Nine Tales' past lessons, or take a deeper look at the relationships of those individuals in Clive's orbit. Here's the latest information I have. Here you can view a detail or detailed visualization of character relationships in Final Fantasy 16 that updates as you progress through the main scenario. That to cycle through pivotal milestones in Clive's adventure. Torgal. Sworn to shield. Deed rider. Sir Tyler and Sir Wayne. Oh. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Wait, aren't Wade and Tyler, are they not dead? was to meet swallowed by the flames it's not showing them as deceased but like it's showing you as deceased and it's showing you as deceased very interesting royal attache breaks trust with Ah, master and servant is their relationship. 
Ah, and she is manipulating Hugo. There is confirmation right there, uh, Mana Dryad. And Jill and Hugo were battling it out. Attempts to assassinate Tiamat. This is very, very interesting. Ah, there's Shiva's thing there. So, uh, when is Jill gonna die? Now Tiamat's dead, but Sir Tyler and Sir Wade, even Rodney are still alive. I wonder if it's because we haven't confirmed their deaths. This is pretty cool. Ah, and we did confirm that he died. Interesting. And then this goes to where Ultima is. Sid is dead. And then we have a new Joshua. But the dominant of fire is gone and replaced by Ultima, which means that that was not Ifrit, it was Ultima. Means I guess I'm technically wrong, even though I'm still taking the W. Former lovers. When did their relationship change? Very interesting. A mortal foe hunting. Okay, this is cool. This is very cool. We didn't meet Sid's daughter yet, did we? Oh, uh, I forgot he had a daughter. Study it well, Clive. Here you can view a detailed overview of current and past events rele uh, relevant to Clive's story. That updates as you progress to the main story. Use that to cycle. This is where we meet Mr. Sid. Thus ends today's lesson. Very, very interesting. What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled, bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip round the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're 
Traitors to the Holy Throne conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. Apparently, I just dropped <coughs> more frames and yeah. now I'm disconnected. Some curial root tea for the pain. And I don't know why. Escape from the slave markets. Let's inspect this real quick. Charlie says I day. can't go and play Good until day to you, you said. Looking for a very specific person. Uh, the one person that's in charge of all the side quests. Hey, it looks like I'm back. Lucky for me, uh, this is very likely the last hour of the stream, so I won't have to worry about the marks. What's the matter, Sid? <laughs> you look as pale as the day your predecessor slung you in the cell next to mine. Not about to have another fit, are you? Of course you aren't. You're a changed man now. We both are. If you say so, suspicious character. Well, for the Twitch peoples, um, I haven't done anything. Just walking around, looking for the uh, side quest person. at the information on uh, the brand how oh, that was removed if you need volunteers just say the word my dad and when it comes to the old fisticuffs um, of course Visit Hippocrates. That's the music. I don't I see don't the other know, guy. Perhaps. Maybe he yes, died. Have we any more knuckle pies?
Is there something I might assist you with, Clive? I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. Uh, Mysteries of the Realm. Brand doesn't have a new thing, but this does. Um, Yeah, I don't I don't see anything about the poison anywhere. Just don't. You are always welcome, Clive. Let's go nab a side quest. Back, Sid. Damn blighty bilge. Is everything all right? Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's roses. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tarts. Suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Not any bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. Of course, Obelus. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Now, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere. Which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pitchers of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest, that's for certain. I get ten thingies for this. I don't know what a thingy is.
I like the name of this quest. Uh, Cock and Ball. But... <laughs> it's, uh... It's a clever... Clever name for this quest. Oh now my bot is tripping. Easier than felling a forest, I said. The trees don't have teeth. sure if it's useful practically but it's cool I can't imagine Obelis needing any more than this time to head home I guess I'll turn in the quest first I am continuing to drop frames. Life is hard. I guess today is just not a not a good day to stream. Either my internet is tripping, Twitch is Finish tripping, box, or something went wrong. I mean, it is hot. It could be weather related too. Well, did you find me some wax? Find is one way of putting it. Ugh. Reeks like a chock of O's arse. Oh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Argo? So your boat has a name? I didn't know. Yeah. Same as me old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. Could have just made a, a new boat. Badge of might. Hey, upgrade. You gonna teach me what those new currency was? Guess not. Let's see. Let's replace this badge of might with this badge of might. Then let's go over to items. I don't know if there's a place where I can see... I have my money down here, and I have my ability points, but it doesn't show what that other thing was. I guess I gotta wait for that. Hey, these upgraded. Photo mode. Yeah, I don't want anything to do with photo mode. Probably learn what, what those points are later. You know, like uh, restoration points or something like that. 
renown points, something. What happened here? Come on, we need to find the others. I'm sorry, Sid. We were too late. The Imperials have already left. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. The boys from the garrison. Let's get you to a physical, shall we? Sorry. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. <laughs> you, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jid and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Cole this is quest. right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But a culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. This quest is probably what teaches us what the, that currency is, since it only awards that currency and it's a main story quest. <laughs> if those Orsons touch an air on Martha's head, I'll kill them all myself. Uh, you keep thinking that. them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The Abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds, poor souls turned on the Imperials, distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then... They may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far, even for the Empire. Easy. 
there like uh, like the lobster dudes over here? Oh no, there are spiders over there. Spiders over here. I do see those enemies right there. Letting you know. Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. No. Damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. <sighs> <sighs> Okay, okay. Is that all of them? I think so. Pull down time by three seconds. Seems like a decent amount. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. The abbot. The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive. He's breathing. Friends of Martha, we're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg his aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I... I shall. Sid, where are you? Sid! In here! We found a survivor! Clive? He's gone.
We've laid the abbot to rest. But the bearers... They didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms. Fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Riddick's jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. I gotta go by myself. like an Ariman? It is. Apparently it has a bounty on it as well. Uh, every now and then, Clive may encounter creatures larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. While flight is always an option, defeating these notorious marks can earn him not only renown, but also rare materials that may be used to craft gear and upgrade existing items. But now, that's what I mean. Do think it spotted us, Torgal? What am I saying? Of course it has. It's a floating eyeball. <laughs> nice try. Get him! 
a fight. You didn't see that coming. You didn't get any rare materials from him, though. The suck. said this river was moving quick or is not moving at all so shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden and bear it out to sea and now they are truly free I hope so what of the Imperials a pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. Ah, yes. There's where that one is. Just gotta remember that it's on this map, which I will never remember. Because I don't remember anything important. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Doesn't mean I won't. Doesn't mean their blood's not on my hands. Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago of black-clad devils descending on villagers in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh. Before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? 
We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young coast breakers. I'll think about it. White Winged Wonder. That is a different looking quest. Also, the game still hasn't told me what those are. Try not to move. Don't only make it worse. Oi! You there! Uh, you handy with that sword of yours? Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were, too. And now, they're back, looking to settle the score. Oh, go on, then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. This is for uh, our chocobo, I bet. <sighs> All right. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw him cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry. You'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. I give those no good bastards a hiding from me. Uh oh, I I want access to the the thing right now. But it's not giving me access to the thing. And every time I go here, it's like, I want access to the thing. But I never get access to the thing. So I'm just stuck. Not looking at the thing. White Heart. I'm That's quite a name for a chocobo. I'm hoping that this plus sign means... I gain access to like a new ability or a new uh, party member, something like that. A white feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds. Looks like they went that way. These chocobos aren't going down without a fight. Ambrosia. Got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. 
piss off. Or better still, how about we hurt you both? All right then. But don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> To me, boy! Stay down! When did you get my party? I forgot you were in my party. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? Considering I went into that battle with no HP, and I left that battle with no HP, I'm pretty happy with myself. You're safe now. White heart, I presume. Do you know her, boy? <laughs> that scar... It couldn't be. Ambrosia... <laughs> it is you. You survived. <coughs> and you found yourself a flock. Oi! He, he is it over? I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, well, you sorted the bastards then. I knew you would. <laughs> And the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Well, I... Um... Oh no, sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are. You done right by me. 
What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. <coughs> Told you. And it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. That noise gets me every time. And yeah, it looks like we are taking away Ambrosia. I thought maybe there was a chance that Ambrosia would just chill, you know, and be like, it's been 17 years or whatever. I'm good. Yes, not. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old white heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> You hear that, White Heart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. Hmm. I wonder how that dialogue would have played out if uh, we didn't do that quest. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. And yeah, we got a chocobo for everybody. Jill, Torgal, Clive. Torgal's gonna be happy. They don't have to walk anymore. Rosia Tech. Chocobo unlocked. After 18, oh, I was close. 18 long years, Clive has finally reunited with his faithful steed. Hold R3 on the field to summon Ambrosia. Next mount. Good girl. Oh my gosh, there's. Oh man. Oh man. They they have the. Uh, like the haptic feedback on uh, on the triggers for this as well. Nice to have a chocobo. I'm not even sure if I was expecting us to gain access to a chocobo, but it's a Final Fantasy game. They usually give us chocobos at some point. No need to ride from here. Try not to move. You'll only make it worse. I know. Alrighty. Well, this is where I'm going to call it quits for today. Need some progress. Uh, I, I guess I would say that we have finished Act 1 is, is what it feels like story-wise. 
with uh, Clive, not Clive, Sid, Sid dying and us getting Ramu's powers. Uh, so, you know, great stuff. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow, 7 a.m. Pacific, to continue with some Final Fantasy 16. We'll see you the next time I see you. Peace.